All right, guys, we're back out at the park, and I'm getting ready to fly the monster. Um, I finally got my battery and speed controller that I ordered. It's got a 90 amp uh, Hobby City speed controller and a 30, uh, 300 milliamp 30C Turnigy battery in it. It's a four cell, so we're going to see how it works. Um, I, I'm trying it out this time with the seven by eight prop, and it should be pretty fast with the four cell setup. Um, I haven't gotten a nerve yet to set it up with the six cell because I don't think it'll turn this prop, and I really need to turn a bigger prop with this motor. Um, to push all this weight. The plane weighs in at almost three pounds now. So let's go ahead and see what it does. That thing sounds weird, dude. Where'd it go? That's weird. Sound right now. Oh, is that too much prop for it? It might be. Might need to go down at 7.6. Yeah, let me get the 7.6 out. Eight, eight, seven. Just come in and watch out, Tom. Oh! oh. Hey, man. Damn, yeah. Jimmy! What you got going on there? No, I thought he gonna see But he didn't. He hit the tree. I know. He saw them. He's... Attack of the killer trees. Oh. All right, we're gonna try it again. This time I put a seven by six prop on. It didn't sound like it was winding up right. Alright guys, I got the monster out at Herman. Um, I changed the timing on it last night so it won't run any better. Um, I'm not sure if the speed controller is not working right with this motor or if I need to change connectors or something. It didn't seem like it was winding up right yesterday, so we're going to try it again out here and see what happens. better today Frank. It's way better. Today. Yeah would you change the timing? Yeah I changed the timing. It's definitely winding enough today. And that's yeah. a six by that's a seven by six prop. I haven't even put the eight inch prop on it. Yeah that sounds a lot yeah, better. A radar gun. Let's see what happens here. I got it. Yeah get close to the pilot. <laughs> he won't hit himself hopefully. <laughs> uh -huh. 
know, it's windy today. I'll let it go. Still wanting to climb. Let me turn it around. Lost it. Definitely sounds like it's winding up today. Heavy as it is, it still flies fairly well. You got pretty good wing area on that thing. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try not going so high this time. Whoa. Oh, I don't know if I got that man. <laughs> what happened? Know, <laughs> What happened? I don't know, man. It just switched on me, then I tried to correct it. And then What'd, you get? What'd you get? 30 49. Miles. 49 miles. <laughs> yeah, Joe. I think that was the speed of the pieces. Oh, oh. the wind caught it kind of funny because I tried to correct it, and then it pulled up, and then I tried to correct it again, and it just went nose oh, right okay. I even have my rates way down. Mm. Crazy. Okay, Frank, what's the damage report? Uh, damage report totaled. Totaled? <laughs> yeah, the plane. Wing is oh. half. Uh, another banana battery. Damn, man, what you up to? About <laughs> too many. That was expensive, man. That's a big. Thing. I got three, two flights out. Three, two flights out of it. I got the flight once yesterday and once today. Mm. So uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna build a new plane, man. <laughs> the monster is not feeling good. <laughs> yeah, the monster is uh, a dead monster now. Okay. Hey, the prop didn't get did not thrown that way. All right, it's time to take a little closer look at the damage to the Monster Delta. It looks like the airframe got busted pretty bad on both sides here. Um, it even broke the weave on both the top and the bottom and snapped one of the servo leads. Uh, the motor has a little bit of a click to it now, so I'm thinking that one of the magnets on the inside probably came loose. So I'll probably have to take that apart and see if I can fix it. Uh, the speed controller looks like it survived all right. Uh, the BEC looks good, but it just came disattached, that's all. Um, looks like most of the electronics are okay, except for the broken servo lead. Um, even the battery isn't as bad as I originally thought it was. It just got a little bit bent and was able to straighten it out, so I'll probably be able to reuse that. And the wood plate is pretty much busted up. Um, I don't think I'm going to rebuild this plane, just because it would probably add too much weight to it to go ahead and reweave everything and glue it all back together and I'd probably have to put a spar in it to make it stronger. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and uh, like I said and uh, start a new project and use this equipment on something else. Okay guys even though this is the end of my uh, Delta Monster project I have made up my mind on what I wanted to build next. Um, I'm going to be calling it the Foam Fighter Swinger. I'm going to be building the Swing Wing Plane my first time that I've ever built a plane that has swing wings on it so we'll have to see how this turns out um, it'll be coming up in the next video so please stay tuned um, one last thing before we go I would just like to remind everybody please don't forget to enter this month's free giveaway drawing um, there's information on our blog on that and I'll put a link in the sidebar thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters and I'll see you guys again soon